Hey guys, Sean again, Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV, all on the YouTube. Got my boy Trent died today. If you don't know him, I don't know where you've been on Instagram. We got his 2001 Chevy Silverado 1500. This thing is freaking tough. Let's go check it out. Let's go. Like I said, we got this 01 Silverado. It's Trent's truck. He's got so much stuff done. Had to pull him in, try to help me through this. So I'll do my best. You fill me in where I screw it up. All right. So it's a six inch suspension lift. Suspension yep. super lift. Super lift, yep. And have you added extra parts or is this in the front exactly how the super lift looks on a six yep. inch? Okay. So that's six inches only. And then it's a three inch body? Three inch body lift. Okay. So you got a total of nine up front? 12 with keys. I've got keys. And keys, yeah. so 12 up front. It's almost 12, yeah. And then how about the rear? I noticed the rear's a little lower. Is that how you guys do it in the Carolinas? Yeah, that's how we do it. <laughs> I, I forgot to finish my lift, so. So what part do you leave out to get squat? I know a lot of people try to figure out what that is or why you do that, but it's basically a look thing, right? It's, it's, a it's look. aesthetics. It's a look. W did you leave out the blocks? I took the factory two inch block out of the back. Okay, so you're just two inches lower than it would be if you'd have done it normal. Yep. But you also have the keys up the keys front, front which so it's probably right. four to five different yep. from front to rear. Yep. Okay, cool. And you've got the 22 yep. by 12, 14. 14. Right. Negative 73, I think you said they are? Yeah. So that's a specially forged wheel. Which model is it, do you 07s. know? 07s. Oh, 07? Yeah, 07. And they do something weird. So most are negative 76 and a 14 wide. Forces like to do a negative 70, and apparently specially forged likes to do a negative 73. It's like 73. So we look at the lip. I'm probably gonna need a couple bills. I mean, it's just nuts. It's basically 10, nine. Have you ever measured your I've lips? I've never measured the lip, no, not, not, not. It's at least nine, at least. if it's not a 10 inch lip, yeah. which is just humongous. And you know, that's the point of a forged wheel, right? Yeah. They're super strong. So what they can do is they can have straight spokes and then that's what creates that giant clean lip that you end up with at the specialty forged. And you can see he's got the spike lug nuts and then he's running, what are you running for tires? Uh, 37, 13, 50 Nitto truck wraps. 37, 13 and a half. So it's a 13 and a half tire on a 14 40. wide, yep. which gives you just a tiny bit of stretch, but almost a perfectly straight sidewall, really. Yep. I don't think it's uh, it's I wouldn't call it a stretch tire no, at all. I would not, yep. no. It's a quarter inch per side. So, it's so that's a six inch plus two plus uh, almost 12 inches. It's you must, yep. in a 37, 30 you said? Seven. So no trimming? None. Did you have this on with the factory bumper? No, not. You didn't? Because I'd be curious if you have you to trim. Have to trim the front, the plastic front valence. It would get into it just the valence? The, okay. The you would, it, it wouldn't be no, um, zero metal trimming. It's okay. just plastic. And then you've got the move front bumper. Yep. We check out the front, Junior. He's got completely custom headlights. And I know you hunted far and for, wide for, for that. <laughs> Finally Sam found Sam that super clean mesh looking grill. Yes. That turned out very cool. And then you're switching, you're gonna add some uh, black label lighting. You're doing the 20 inch and some cubes. Yep. Very cool. Here and the hood is aftermarket, obviously. Yep. Yep. And you just had this whole thing painted, right? That's a yep. complete it's, new yeah, paint job. Brand new paint job. Very cool. Tow mirrors. It's just a clean, clean truck. And I know I was checking this one out. Who did you say does the uh, cover? Underflex. Underflex? Underflex. It's an underflex back cover. That's cool. I just love it because it's basically, it folds in half and then it's yeah. also got like a prop rod, right? And yeah. it'll almost stand straight yeah, up. So you can use pretty much the whole bed, moving stuff in and out. And I know it's super fast. Very fast. As far as using it. Exactly. And you got the bed rug. You can see he's got the world's most giantest clevis. Biggest shackle ever. Yeah, that's slick. So, I mean, Junior, if you just look at this thing, I don't know how much it's sticking out. If you look down the side of it, he's got most of his front tire out. 
Now you're not running any spacers in the rear? No, that's all awesome. Are you going to? Uh, I know a lot of guys try to get the backs out the same it's as not the front. that noticeable, but I probably will end up putting the two inch on it. Because it's pretty typical with the Chevys with the lift, they push yep. that front end out a little bit and they actually start out a little yep, bit. So some guys will do like a 175 or even a two inch spacer to push that out. Yep. Some actually like that little bulldog look that it, yep. a Chevy has. I think it's pretty classic, but I would say his front's sticking out eight, nine inches. Junior? Junior. Somewhere around there, yeah. And then probably six, seven in the back. So, very cool, very clean. What do you have for tint? Is it just a match, 20%? Um, it's five on the back, 15 on the, okay. on the sides, and 37 on the very front. Cool, cool, nice truck. And now you're gonna keep going with this one, huh? Yeah, yep. definitely. Cause I know you're threatening to sell a little while back. I Got was, a little weird was, on us. Yeah, <laughs> I was. What are you thinking next? Bigger, badder, oh, more? Yeah. Four link, front rear, um, 26 by 16. Cool. Cool, I can't wait to see that. How big a tire is it? 40s. Okay, that so you're gonna try 40s. to keep it proportional. Yeah, it's just gonna be yep. yeah, it's not gonna be skating. Cool, yeah. cool. Very cool, Trent Dye, everybody check him out on Instagram. What is it, oh my God, oh Trent Dye or something? Oh my God, it's Trent Dye. You'll see it, you'll see it in the picture montage. You'll be able to follow him up and check it out and see how he goes with this build. Peace.